What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today I am going to show you the most magic trick Easter egg ever in the existence of Diablo 2. Now, we have to go hunting for this a little bit. This might not fully work. This may be multiple tries. We'll just have to see. Um, this isn't like your stained glass or anything like that. This is a proper crazy Easter egg that I imagine 99.999% .999 of you do not know. If you do know about this, congratulations. This is wild. So, we are going to hang out. And for those of you who know, you may already know what's about to happen. For those of you that don't, take a look. The souls have stopped. And now, they will start making letters. We have a D. We have an L. We have an E. We have an M. We have a V, I believe. That one's maybe a W. That one's tough. That just looked like an X. No. What's this? An R? Wait, was it a K? We have an S, I would believe. And they are done and back to attacking. That is right. This is one of the weirdest, strangest Easter eggs that exist within this game. If you get four souls with nothing else around and a lot of distance, like you have to clear out a good amount of the space around them. The four souls will then come together, stop attacking you, split into very specific ways, and spell out letters. Now, what do these letters mean? We do not know. Even David Brevik says he did not know what the letters meant. But there was a D, an E, and an M for which David Brevik, Eric Schaefer, and Max Schaefer are all the designers of the game. Rick Sace is a programmer. Phil Shank is an artist. I believe there was a P and an R in there. Kurt Beaver is a writer. There's a K. Stieg Hedlund was a writer. There was an S. Matthew Householder, there was an M. Phil Shank with a P. Robert Valera. Thus, potentially all of these letters. There's our E for Eric. We had our D for David, our E for Eric. Our M for Max, I believe, is going to be the next one. This has been in the game since 1.07. This was not just in uh, the old game. Now, this one is speculated to be a V. At which case, the only question could be Robert Vlera? 
is a V, but there's nobody that they can think of that had a V name. That's an R right there for Rick. I'm guessing this is the P. You don't think it's a V, you think it's a demon skull for funsies? Potentially. That's our S for Stieg. And again, there's still Matthew Householder and Phil, Phil Shank, which cover a couple of them, and then they are done. So again, that is the speculation that it is the letters of the first names of every developer Except there is just one right there that we aren't certain of. Um, absolutely wild. And you know what else exists now after this? You also have infinite magic find. And I'm not just saying that. For the next 10 minutes after this happens... Your magic find is boosted an insane amount. It's for 19 hours, not 10 minutes. I thought it was for 10 minutes. That was what I was told. But maybe, no, it does not show in your stats. It does not uh, show up anywhere. It is server side. You were told 19 hours. <laughs> it's 19 hours, but only a single game. Yes. You cannot leave the game. You cannot, uh, if you die, if any of you do any of those things that would uh, normally dispel those sorts of things, it will break. I say infinite magic find. I don't mean infinite like you have perfect crazy magic find, but... You do have a large, large boost to your magic find um, for the rest of said game. This is a terrible character for this. I just picked it because he has 95 light res. But he's a horrible character to go around and, like, kill a bunch of stuff to try and get things. So, yes, you cannot leave the game. And you cannot die. But other than that, this is truly awful. Go kill Mephisto. I'm trying to. I don't have Mephisto. <laughs> so let me see if we can go and get Mephisto. I'm like out of everything and in a horrible... Again, I picked, I picked the terrible, terrible character for this. He doesn't even have a TP staff. In 19 hours, you can clear every single area. That's why I believe it was 10 hours. 50,000 MF versus 500 MF is like 1% better. Yes. Now, the nice thing about this guy, let me go to players five, sure. The nice thing about this guy is he has 6% MF, so he should not have be finding anything whatsoever. He should, he should not find anything whatsoever. So we'll see if we can get, you know, a little bit more here and get some thingies. But. You were thinking this would affect speedruns more? How so? Just by boosting magic find? That's why I think it's 10 minutes and not uh, forever. Yeah, he has to kill things first. Exactly. Alright, so we got two rares out of that. Pretty good. Let's go to Mr. Mephisto. Oh, Grayling, yeah. And we actually were able to get a set item out of that. Again, with 6% MF, a set item, and a rare. Not bad. 
So, uh, yeah, it is. I mean, this honestly has to be the craziest. That's actually pretty good for Noah Meff. This actually has to be the craziest character, though, or the craziest bug in existence. One not bug feature. One that there was that there is the potential of this magic find. Right, gaining this giant magic find boost for whether it's 10 minutes or 19 hours. And two, that there is the spelling from the souls. What an amazing Easter egg. I mean, absolutely mind blowing. So shout out to the guys from Frozen Keep and whoever all figured this out. This is uh, crazy. This is just absolutely crazy. Um, yeah. I just, I, it's one of those things where you don't even believe it. Somebody's like, hey, if you go get four souls together and let them tag you for a bit, they'll stop and spell things. You're like, what? <laughs> Shut up. No, they won't. But they do. There you go. We got to see it. I don't know. I think this is absolutely mind-blowing. This is like somebody telling you Mew's under the truck, but then Mew is actually under the truck. I hope you thought this was cool. I think this is brilliant. Mwah! Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Peace, everybody.